you know, for coming here. Um, we are having a function to just uh, recognize the talent we have as a country. But, but I'm surprised with some of the things I've seen in, uh, in media. Uh, I saw a 411 where you know, people are complaining that uh, as a minister of uh, ICT, endorsing a candidate, it is a problem and uh, IBC needs to you know, either sanction me or something of that nature. This is a, it's a big surprise and maybe it's because uh, I saw today there were polls that came out and even with those polls, maybe the numbers are not looking good and people are looking for reasons or excuses. But, you know, I'm a minister and uh, I'm allowed to be able to endorse whichever candidate uh, I choose because I'm also a Kenyan. I do not work for the IBC. I do not run uh, elections. And uh, I am therefore, you know, surprised that uh, so much effort and energy can be put, such a long letter is written, to start uh, asking IBC to sanction me. Why? Me, I'm uh, just supporting a candidate. One of my bosses is in uh, government today and is running for office, and now they are saying that, he, that I have more capability than he does. And yet he is the sitting deputy president running as a candidate. Is it me who has more resources or him who has more resources that now they are saying they focus on me? I think they should focus on themselves and they should focus on their campaigns. I'm not campaigning for them. And I don't know why they're taking this uh, position, picking me, picking even my colleagues and saying that we should not be engaged in politics. You know, I came from private sector and much earlier, you know, in 2017, we were campaigning together with the same person. Why is it that now I'm campaigning for somebody else that is now seeming different, and yet in 2017 uh, it was okay? So I'm just finding this is a fuss. None of us are in uh, IBC. IBC is an independent institution. If they're going to investigate, they should be investigating the office of the deputy president, which has so much more resource than Mosheru here, for them to say that I can influence the election, then he can influence even more than me. So I don't have much more to say than that, but to say they, they should just focus on their campaigns, move their agenda and, and leave us out. None of us are in IBC or involved in the IBC. We provide the policy, the support that they need. IBC for connectivity, they get that from the mobile operators. They don't get that from us. The government does not have any network. For broadcasting, they get from you. So I don't know where all this idea that we can steal elections is coming from. And, and so I think uh, I will not even uh, respond uh, formally. And I don't even expect IBC to even uh, question me. They are the ones who know how they are running the election. They are independent. So I think them they know this is just uh, political games. People who are afraid that uh, maybe they won't win. And they are trying to look for scapegoats. That's a hero. I hope that is sufficient as a response.